According to Quilne, it was a vivid, memorable, and wonderful year to remember for many reasons, the year they inaugurated use of the new high school building. A year filled with friendships, some of which will endure for a lifetime. A year filled with all the adventures of a rounded high school experience. The purpose of this recorded supplement to Quilna is to help you remember 5657 at Shawnee High. <laughs> The year 5657 at Lima Shawnee is summed up in these words by Superintendent C.G. Lappin. The fall of 1956 may be said to mark the beginning of a new era for Shawnee High School. On September the 4th, we moved into our new home, a modern, up-to-date building. For 30 years, we had occupied the building constructed in 1926, the last few years working under crowded conditions. Now we not only have sufficient room, at least for the present, but we have a plant constructed for pleasant, healthful living, constructed for efficiency and convenience. In this fine school atmosphere, we feel and we trust that many young citizens will become equipped for facing the problems of life. We hope they will all be prepared for earning a living and also for living a life of usefulness. We shall have faith in the belief that Shawnee students of the future shall be so guided and motivated that they will reflect credit to Shawnee High School, to the community, and to themselves. The beautiful new Shawnee High School building was dedicated October 6, 1956. This reporter was present with many of you and, like you, toured the marvelous educational plant after the ceremonies were over. During the ceremonies, there was this memorable moment when Principal O.C. Connect announced, On behalf of the Board of Education, I am authorized to state that this gymnasium is hereby dedicated to C.G. Lappin, Superintendent of Shawnee School, and shall be known as, from this day on as Lappin Gymnasium. Then Ralph Merrill made it official when he said, They say it's the little thing to count, and this key represents the whole building, this small key. At this time, I'd like to present it to Mr. Carl Fennemeyer and ask him to put this building to the use for which it was designed. Toward the end of the school year, Joe Serakitis summed up the 56-57 school year at Shawnee from his vantage point as president of the senior class. We have spent this year in the new senior high building. It has been a great privilege to attend classes in such a new and modern building. We students realize the sacrifice the good people of Shawnee Township have made to give us this new school, and we only hope that those who follow after us will be as appreciative. Our many, many thanks to our faculty who have been most helpful and kind. Our days at Shawnee have been all too short, and we leave with so many priceless memories. On the sports front, an exciting school year for Shawnee High. In football, the Indians rolled up an eminently respectable seven wins, one loss, and one tie record. Coach Bill Byerly had this to say of the season. The 1956 Shawnee football squad was made up of a wonderful group of boys. The main desire of these boys was to keep the Shawnee football spirit going. We have had squads with more overall ability, but never a squad with such a desire to win. These boys had a wonderful team spirit, and they all worked together as a team. The varsity team was built around the 12 senior players who provided the leadership that we needed for a successful season. We sure hope these 12 senior boys the best in their future. And the high point of the season, as far as winning, was the victory at St. Mary's. Thank you. Sports interest continued as the accent changed from the gridiron to the basketball court. Shawnee students had lots of spirit, as exemplified in this pep session.
The Shawnee Cagers won nine, lost ten, and put on exciting games all the way. At the season's end, coach Ralph Blauvelt announced he was stepping down. As he retired, the coach had this to say. Among the permanent returns of a coaching job are the close friendships that result from the years of working with the boys on his teams. It has been an especial pleasure to have worked with the boys this year. A fine team, boys that have always been real gentlemen, and a student body that has shown great sportsmanship in giving the team their support, win or lose. It has been lots of fun coaching in our new Lapland Gymnasium. We can look forward to years of good basketball. I hope that in those years I shall often meet again at the games in that gym, the boys of this year's team. Good luck and best wishes to all of them. As this record went to the waxworks and Quilna went to press, baseball coach Paul Hughes took a look ahead. With the 1957 baseball season just around the corner, the question confronting Shawnee is, how much have we improved? Eight returning lettermen provide a core of seasoned veterans. Our squad of 40 candidates is working hard to make this a memorable season. The Western Buckeye race shapes up as a wide open affair. Salina, St. Mary's, and Van Wert boast experienced pitching staffs and considerable power at the plate. If we are to improve on last year's record of five wins and four losses, we must hit better, display consistent pitching against the best teams, and bolster our defense. What will the score write for 1957? Come on out and help us boot home a winner. There was another side to the extracurricular activities of Shawnee High. On February 21st, the junior class play made a hit. Gosh, isn't this exciting? Look, baby, you're my partner now. Not a word of this to anybody. Not even your family, understand? My lips are sealed. I like them that way. Don't you want to see the orchard? Some of the trees are 100 years old. We have Grimes Golden and Wine Sap, Jonathan's and Roman Beauties, and Early Delicious. Did, did we run out of apples? Too bad you weren't here in the, in the spring. The orchard is beautiful when it's in bloom. Aren't we all here? Oh, here you are. I missed you two at the statue. Uncle Judd, Mr. Crosby's doing a story about our orchard. I told him all about Johnny Appleseed and, and everything. What happened to your date with Marvin? Or shouldn't I ask? Oh, I had to call that off. This is more important, don't you think? Oh, much more important. You're a love, Uncle Judd. Mr. Crosby, we're very proud of our apple trees. I hope your intentions toward this orchard are honorable. With your permission, sir. Scram. Yes, sir. Those were the voices of Nettie DeBille, Bill Garrison, and Tom Protzman. In excerpts from the senior high class play presented April 12th, we hear from Dave Weber, Bud Bittler, and Joe Saracitis. Tell me, Baron, you have lived a long while. What are the things that men like yourself value most? Why? What is this thing of great price that dignifies our life and makes it dear? It is very flattering of you to ask. It seems to me that we are like children playing with toys, passing the time while we wait for something, for that thing of great price. Beneath this play, I hear the voice of a deep hunger, unsatisfied. For what? Can you tell me? Philosophers have never agreed about the ultimate good. I am asking as a person. Why, in my own case, I have had two aims, love and power. Power? I have power, but that is a lonely thing. I thought this good was something to be shared. Of course, men have chosen other things. Religion, for instance. They have even died for that. Yes, I have known many of them. They died in defense of their own opinion, but at least they were not afraid. I used to say in my young days that I would die for love. I have often threatened it. Then there is a love which casts out fear, and I have found it. And love is greater than illusion, and as strong as death. The president of the student senate, Wayne Umbaugh, had these words for his schoolmates as the first year in the new Shawnee High School building drew toward a close. 
Our activities in the Student Senate this year were broad and varied. In trying to make our school better by setting and maintaining traditions, we organized the homecoming ceremonies and later in the year made provisions for a permanent homecoming queen crown to be kept by the school. The proceeds from the dances we held after the home games were put back into the school in the form of Christmas decorations, signs and posters, and any other way that we could make school life more interesting. By acting as the middleman between the students and the administrators, we got more ideas and suggestions for school improvement than would otherwise be possible. However, I believe that our activities were only indicators of things to come. alma mater, we conclude this attempt to recall on record some of the moments in a memorable school year, 1956-57 at Shawnee High. Speaking for the editors of Quilna, this is Don Sherwood saying, we hope sincerely this recorded remembrance will enhance your enjoyment of Quilna through the years. And a prediction that this issue of Quilna will mean far more to you as the years go by than you dream possible at the close of this school year.